Hey guys, how's it going? Jack Reaper here again. We're here in Fallout 4, right here at Oberlin Station. Today we're going to be looking at one of my older builds. Over the last couple of years, obviously, I've done a few playthroughs of Fallout 4. And, um, yeah, I didn't have the... Back when I built this, I didn't know how I could use the steps to sink the junk fences, so I actually opted to get pre-walled settlements. It's a mod on the... Uh, for the PS4, I'm sure it'll be there for the Xbox and the uh, PC as well. But this just comes, it boards off, um, walls off some of the settlements like you would get at a, a convent. And then I've built on everything in the inside. So we've got like the uh, little area for them to chill out up here, a little guard station for them to stand at, a little guard rug there. Look over the gate on this, uh, this entrance to the Oberlin station there little uh, area for them to stand after dinner, chill out, relax. This guy's trying to get up here. Sorry about that mate. Quit with his flame throw. Got some storage underneath and I quite like how I've used these crates, um, these container boxes. Inside we've got the uh, chemistry workstation and that down here out the way. Making all the chems. They're a little bit floaty them aren't they? That must be to do with the, uh, the container boxes. And then we've got another chem station under there. Up here we've got the guard station, turrets everywhere. In my older build, some of the even older ones that we'll eventually go and see, I've just got literally turrets. Like 600 defence and that. Just thought, wow, well, more defence, more defence. I was kind of hoping there was going to be massive attacks on the settlements and then I found out that isn't actually the case. You get about, what, six maybe <laughs> attack at, <laughs> at once. And then you can come out and you can go across the top of the wall here, done with crates and that. Looking, obviously, we've got the main wall there on the outside. Another guy here on his little station. And then down there, our runners uh, have kind of made it so I've gone a little bit backwards. I haven't really planned the way I was going around. So, yeah, like I said, we're back at that chem station right there. Got all the storage, all the things that are coming through, going up to Grey Garden or maybe down to Hangman's from here. All the little bit things, bits and pieces of the trading. And this is kind of like the main high street. You come on down here, we've got planks and things all over the floor. And then we've got a little there. Uh, that's floating as well. I, w I wonder why so much stuff is floating in here. I think this one here is the uh, the armor workbench. We've got um, the armor trader. So we've got some power armors outside, one that's uh, nowhere near finished, another one that's nearly finished and they're currently working on at the moment. Just need an, an extra arm piece for that one. And that's where we just ran down and got the cooking station there. That's also a little bit floaty, that as well, isn't it? But that would say a little guard station up at the top there. This is what we're going to do. We're going to have a little look through my older settlements. <clears throat> See if we can get any ideas for making the new ones inspiration for anything anything that we liked I mean there's a hell of a lot of bus stations in here I don't know where they've dragged all these from bus stops even got a little there uh, guy doing trade here as well another little star I haven't actually made it obvious at all what the actual each one is so one one of them will be clothing one of them will be armor <laughs> I don't think this is a general star I think this one must be weapons I mean, with the boxes and that there surely this one must be weapons and then you come round here, we've got the bar area. We've got a little uh, area from working on the weapons. Yeah, it must be the weapons. We've got the weapon workbenches and everything there. And then we've got a little uh, bar area here, sitting down, relaxing, taking it easy. We've got the uh, stools and all that. And a little chill out area with the sofas over there. Would look nice, all decorated up actually, with a bit of junk, a few uh, bits and pieces on the floor. That armor workbench um, seems to be working when no one working at it. Ooh. Got a little living area. Uh, oh, I thought this was a living area up here, but it's not. I've got the guard station there. That's that brought that rug there randomly as far. Well. We've got the sniper. We should have the sniper up here. Looking down towards Grey Garden. Got the communication tower as well. Picture up on the wall. A view over the rest of the settlement. A lot of it done with them crates. Obviously, we we're at the train track, so them crates. Uh, there might have been trains passing by and stuff where they've got the crates from off the tracks maybe even further down we head a bit further up here we've got another star here it's not a mannequin that's actually someone stood having a sig 
And then we've got the general star here. You can tell it's the general star because we've got the paint there, paint mixer there. And I believe that came with the USO mod, to be honest. You come down and through here, and then this is the uh, main part for the actual settlers. People who wouldn't be passing through, wouldn't be trading. They were actually living here. So they've got their area here for the uh, for plants and for the food to grow. We carry on round here. Um, yeah around this way got a couple of steps up next to each other first one goes up onto the top deck I'm looking again down this train track down towards hangman's that way you can also check the guy over there make sure he's all right cross down and over the other side got a little area for him to work on the weapons and do different things here as well got the boxes there and then up again up onto the top looking over the wall defending us from every angle got a little box here Full of bits and pieces and ammunition, I would imagine. That they need while they're protecting the place. So, oh, there's this guy with the flamethrower again. I'm not going to get past him, am I? Boom. Maybe he's struggling to get up there, actually. He's got a combination of that board on the floor and that roof up there. He's probably having a trouble getting, <laughs> getting up there, to be honest. And then you've got a little storage deck up here. Generator at the back there, a couple of uh, supports and more crates, like the containers. And then we got up here with the radio, another guard up here with his barrel keeping warm, protecting over the backside. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Come down here, got a little seating area. When they're, um, maybe they can have a little cook and sit around the fire here on a night time. Or when they're on the dinner break, then they can also come and sit over here as well. And then at the back here, you've got some of the stuff they've been growing and stuff, um, the stuff they need for growing, sorry, there, and some empty crates. Got a weapon workbench and a little area, surface area for working on there. And then a little uh, guard station up here. All, all, the, all the outside of my settlements, on my older settlements, were absolutely kicked in, uh, in defences. So I used to uh, like the uh, guards to wander around. Or I did used to like the guards to wander around now I just find they just get stuck all the time because they get too elaborate the uh, well I'm making and then there's this thing at the back so this will be the living quarters that there would be the back of the bar we've got the water down there as well another water in there a couple of generators all tucked underneath and then up here I never used to put anything next to the beds, I just plonked a load of beds down. I haven't, I haven't done them any storage, I haven't done them anything. Anything to have rid of uh, just beds everywhere to <laughs> occupy all my all my settlers because I try and get, uh, try to get like my settlers up to high numbers on this playthrough. I remember I wanted them up near 30 and I never could find the sharp, the sharp armour. Obviously with the sharp armour for every piece you get an extra point of charisma. And then yeah, just an empty roof deck up here. Could have really done a little bit more with this space. Front gets a little bit laggy, but I would imagine back here there isn't actually that much to uh, to load up at the same time. So yeah, there it is, my Oberlin station. Up on the roof there I've put one of the... Um, radio beacons and like all my radio towers coming off the top of there and that's built into the top of the roof and I like how that turned out as well so overall I'm pretty happy with this one, this was Oberlin Station on this character with the walled settlements he's uh, the only character that does have the walled settlements if you've liked what you've seen please hit the, the like button and um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already otherwise I'll catch you in the next one, thanks for watching, bye bye